हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ईसी एकेडमी बेनिफैक्टर वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास टूडेज टॉपिक इज वोल्टेज शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर द टॉपिक इज फ्रॉम फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर यूनिट द सब्जेक्ट नेम इज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट एनालिसिस इज अ डायग्राम ऑफ वोल्टेज शंट फीडबैक एम्पलीफायर The other name of the circuit is common emitter amplifier with resistor R dash. So if you take out this R dash, it is a common emitter amplifier because the output is taken at the collector terminal. So it is a common emitter terminal, common emitter amplifier with re with resistor R dash. Voltage shunt feedback amplifier. or common emitter amplifier with resistor r dash we are going to do the analysis of voltage shunt feedback amplifier in which we have to first identify the topology how do we know that this circuit is a voltage shunt feedback amplifier so the first step is identify the topology and i after identifying the topology you need to draw an amplifier without feedback this circuit is amplifier with feedback in step 2 we need to draw amplifier input output circuit without feedback for its analysis first we will draw the gain equation without feedback and then transform it into gain parameters with feedback so first step is identify the topology second step is to draw amplifier without feedback and third step is to replace the amplifier circuit with h parameter equivalent circuit and then derive the open loop gain and based on that we need to draw derive closed loop gain input resistance and output resistance so let us start it identifying the topology so for identifying we need what is a mixing done and what is a sampling done so as you know mixing is done at the input side and sampling is done at the output side so let's start to identify the topology by visualization we can easily tell the resistor the feedback resistor r dash is connected directly to the base of the transistor so it is shunt mixing or another way of uh, proving that it is a shunt mixing is as the feedback signal is if it is shunt mixing so visualization technique is easier whenever you find a feedback resistor directly connected to the base what is the feedback resistor when the output point from the output point if a resistor is connected to the input that is known as a feedback path so at collector we are taking the output so resistor r dash now became the feedback resistor which is directly connected to the base so it is shunt mixing and to know whether with sampling is, is it if we short the output voltage if we short the output voltage what will happen the feedback resistor the feedback resume reduces to zero hence it is voltage sampling so what is the mixing done shunt mixing and voltage sampling so mixing is done at the input side and sampling is done at the output side so what will be its topology name voltage shunt so the topology is voltage shunt feedback amplifier voltage sampling shunt mixing so second step is to draw the amplifier without feedback find the input circuit so when we are drawing the amplifier circuit we will have input circuit and output circuit to draw the input circuit we need to see what is the sampling done for input circuit we need to see what sampling sampling is at the output side 
for input we need to see what is done at the output side what sampling is done at the output side so we see it is voltage sampling because it is a voltage and feedback amplifier so for voltage sampling set v not as zero to draw the input circuit we need to see sampling and whatever sampling is done it in this case as it is a voltage sampling we have set v not to zero how can we make v not to zero by open circuit in the output side we can make we have make the output voltage zero okay so we have drawn this input circuit so what is at the input circuit vs vs rs so if you see this one this is output is set to zero it means what you will do this completely part is removed then what will have where this resistor r dash will hang it has to go back to this point so this r dash is shown here like this so v s r s r dash so when we are drawing amplifier without feedback there should be no vcc and ground we must take care of it and here one more point is as a feedback element as a feedback element here is a feedback parameter is current we need to replace this uh, uh, vsrs by the current source is by not an equivalent circuit so we can replace vsrs by is parallel to rs so is parallel to rs parallel to r dash so this circuit is redrawn in its nor not an equivalent in this way this is the input circuit so it is very clear for drawing the input circuit we have seen the uh, sampling that is voltage sampling and we made v not zero and connected r dash to the input side to draw the output circuit we need to see the mixing where is mixing done it is rendered the input side what mixing is done here it is shunt mixing to find the output circuit shunt mixing is done at the input side what is shunt mixing it is voltage so what we do we make vi as zero it set the input voltage as zero so for uh, all these points we need to remember uh, the steps which we have already discussed in a previous video that comes under the topic of method of analysis of feedback amplifier so it's very easy actually to remember also to draw the input circuit we need to see the sampling out voltage sampling so set we draw it as zero at the output circuit we need to see the input mixing if input mixing is voltage then we make the voltage zero so what we did here the input side is open here so if you see the basic circuit here this complete part is removed out so this is drawn so what happens this r dash is bent here and rc is also bent to this emitter point which is drawn here like this so r dash and rc are brought to this emitter point without ground because it is amplifier without feedback so this is the input circuit is rs r dash and this is output circuit having r dash rc where we are observing the output voltage across rc and the current i naught is flowing through rc next step is to draw these two circuits in the same one because it is an amplifier without feedback which is drawn here like this is rs r dash then output circuit is r dash rc here we notice there is no ground symbol so it's very very important if you put a ground symbol to this diagram the analysis will become wrong so this is the diagram of amplifier without feedback now we need to replace this transistor by its approximate h model which is comprising of hie and hfe 
that is this part is a transistor hie hfe ib ib is a current flowing through hie so this is a transistor and this is a input circuit input circuit is is rs r dash we have replaced the transistor by hie hfe ib at the output side we are having r dash and rc the current flowing through r dash is if uh, the current flowing through rc is i not okay so this current you can negate here because it is amplifier without feedback okay so this is h parameter equivalent circuit of amplifier without feedback next step is to derive the open circuit trans resistance gain is what output by input output here is what voltage input is current so v not by is as you see here the output is voltage and input is current so rm is equal to v not by is okay and now if we see the output circuit this one this part so here we are having at the output side hfe ib now replace this r dash rc with a resistor rl what is rl now rl is equal to r parallel to rc so this is output circuit and i have taken a small part of it and drawn it here hfe ib rl so what is v not here v not is a current flowing through rl and it, this current hfe ib is entering at the minus terminal of v not so what is v not here minus hfe ib times of rl so r v not is equal to minus hfe ib rl and rl is what r dash parallel to rc now i have taken this input side and drawn it here i s this r is parallel to r dash is replaced by resistor r so i s r h i e so what will be the current i b current i b is equal to i s times of r by r plus h i e this you know what is r here r is r is parallel to r dash so from this you can derive what is i s what is i s now i s is equal to i b by cross multiplying i b times of r plus h i e by r so now we are having here v not and here i s so based on this we can find the open circuit trans resistance gain r m r m is equal to v not by i s what is v not minus h f e i b r l by i s okay and what is i s here i have substituted here i s as i b times of r plus h i e by r so this r went above so r m is equal to minus h f e i b r l by i s replace this i s here like this so we can cancel this i b i b and we get the expression of r m as minus h f e r l r by r plus h i e this is open circuit gain r m so now next step is to find rmf that is trans resistance gain with feedback this is trans resistance gain without feedback okay and for this we should know rmf equation rmf is what trans resistance gain with feedback so rmf is equal to rm by d all these equations we have done in our earlier classes so please refer it so that it will be easier why i am writing them directly rm by d rm by d so what is the d equal to d sensitivity which is equal to 1 plus rm into beta 
R M we have already found. What is R M? V naught by I S, which we have we derived the equation minus H F E R L R by R plus H I. Now we need to derive what is beta. What is beta? Beta is a feedback factor which is equal to feedback parameter by the output. The feedback parameter here is current I F by V naught. So what is V naught equal to? V naught is what here? As you see the diagram V naught here. See this one or this one. V naught is how much? V naught here, no? The current V naught is equal to I naught times of R C. The current flowing through this resistor, or we can say, if we want to write it in terms of I F, what we'll write? It is minus times so because it's uh, going in reverse direction. If it is in terms of I naught, it will be I naught R C, and if it is in terms of I F, it can be I F. Minus I F times of R, so that's written here. V naught is equal to I naught R C, which can be also written as minus R dash I F. So, which is substituted here, beta is equal to I F by V naught. V naught is equal to minus R dash I F. So, by cancelling I F, we are left with beta is equal to minus one by R dash. So now we are having three equations: R M, which is equal to minus H F E R L by R plus H I, and beta is equal to minus one by R dash, and D is equal to one plus R M beta. So we can find gain with feedback. R M F is equal to R M by D. Feedback. The next parameter to be analyzed is. Voltage gain with feedback. Output voltage by input voltage. What is input voltage? I S into R S. So what is V naught by I S? It is equal to R M F. So V naught by I S is written as R M F by R S. So once you compute R M F here, you can substitute the value of R M F here and R S value will be given to you in the problem, and you can happily get what is A V F. Okay, next is so after getting the first equation R M F, R M F is equal to V naught by I S, or it can also be R M by D. Next parameter is input resistance with feedback R I F. So here. the name of the feedback amplifier is voltage shunt mixing so i means input side what type of mixing is done at the input side shunt mixing so as it is shunt that is parallel that is input resistance will decrease so it's easy to remember rif equation will be ri by d and what is ri if you look at the input circuit what is r R I R parallel to H I E. That is R dot H I E by R plus H I E. The final parameter is R O F. R O F is equal to R O by one plus R M beta. R O F dash is equal to R O F parallel to R C. So these are the final equations. After doing the analysis of voltage shunt feedback amplifier, I hope the analysis is clear and easy to understand. So the other name of voltage shunt feedback amplifier is common emitter amplifier with resistor R dash. Thank you. Good luck, students.